I wanna give a big shout out to Insight Subs and Innova Pharma. They provided the MV Pre 2.0 for this review. If you wanna buy MV Pre 2.0, make sure you check out the Insight Subs website. I'll put a link below in the bio. Okay, everybody, welcome back to the supplement review. Now, the inspiration for this video came from one of my followers. Her name is Hayley Quinn. I met her for the first time at Body Power this year. Despite having some quite serious health problems, including a feeding tube and two club feet, she still competes in Strong Woman. She still rides a motorbike. Uh, she's probably one of the baddest ass people that I know. <laughs> she really inspired me to make this video to show not only people who have disabilities that you can be part of the fitness industry, but to show that people who don't, who wanna make excuses as to why they can't go to the gym, that really, there's no reason. If you want to do this and you wanna be part of this community, you can. Now, I'm really glad that I made this video because I got to meet some awesome people. Um, you're gonna see all of our testers have got either a physical or a mental disability. I'm not gonna say too much about this product because this video is not about me, it's about them. But we will have a formula breakdown from Richard Foster at the end to tell you what's in MV Pre 2.0. So, it's enough of me. Let's hear from our testers. Hi, I'm Adam. I'm a lifter with cerebral palsy that mainly affects my left arm and my left leg. I train three to four times a week. I've competed in Strongman once at England's Strongest Disabled Man in 2018 and I'm currently training for the Andy Bolton Deadlift Challenge in October and I hope to compete in powerlifting as much as I can in the future. I'm Kirsty, I'm 27 and I have fibromyalgia. I've had fibromyalgia coming up for eight years now. It is widespread pain throughout the whole of your body on top of extreme tiredness, muscle stiffness. It also gives you problems with your mental processing, which people typically with fibro would call fibro fog. Being an invisible disability makes it even harder because people are like, well, there's nothing wrong with you because you can't see what's wrong with them. And why not exercise? Why not be into training? Why not have a passion? Yes, your body hurts, but is it better that it's hurt because you've done something you've enjoyed than not? done anything at all. My name's Tom. I myself suffer with a disability named Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome. The types that personally affect me are connective tissue issues, bone density and joint pain. I'm taking part in this because I believe it's great to raise awareness for everyone with every disability to say you can be included in the fitness industry and it's great that the supplement review are trying to branch out, reach out and raise awareness. Hey guys, uh, my name's Lloyd, so a bit about me, I'm 25 years old, from Tenby in Wales, been training for a few years now, I got into Strongman when I lost my eyesight about five years ago, met Eddie Hall, found that there's a disabled Strongman avenue to go down, I've been training that since, so uh, my sort of training is quite heavy, um, I do tend to have quite a bit of rest in between sets at times, so it does vary, it does mix up, I don't tend to do much cardio, yeah, that's a bit about me. Hi all, my name's Alfie. I'm the British and the World Champion for Disabled Strongman. It does denote strongman, but women do have their own categories, seating and standing. And I'm actually the World Champion and British of the seater category. So a little bit about myself. I didn't always have a disability. I was a runner for many, many years and apparently running on concrete for all of those years causes knee problems. So I have osteoarthritis of the left knee, which I've had 37 operations and that has sort of made my knee quite redundant and is braced currently. In one of those operations, it had an adverse effect on my foot, so my foot no, long, no longer functions. Obviously, going from able-bodied to disabled was a great shock, and for many, many years, I was very depressed, I didn't know what to do with myself. And then in 2012, I saw a man swimming in the Paralympics with no arms and no legs. Really, I have nothing to complain about if he's doing that. So then I decided to try and take up para sport. So I decided to have a go at para powerlifting and I seem to be okay at this. In 2017, I was the British and the English champion. Um, I didn't do a lot in 2018 because I unfortunately had cancer, but I'm clear now. I then decided that I would contact Gary Clark and have a go at Disabled Strongman because it sounded great, sounded fun. Um, he coached me all the way telling me what I needed to do I trained very hard and in April this year I went to Chard in Somerset to have a go at the British title 
to which I smashed it out of the ballpark somehow and came home with the trophy, which then gave me classification to the Worlds in Canada in June. I didn't think I'd do any good. You know, it's a new sport for me. But I came out the other end in Canada, the world champion. So I'm very, very chuffed with myself. Um, it took a lot of work. So now onwards and upwards. Um, my next venture will be the Arnold's in March next year to defend my title. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. Hi right, guys, what's going on? I'm Johnny, I'm 28. I work as a personal trainer and I have a condition called cerebral palsy. It's a condition that affects the tightness in your muscles, so it may affect your entire body or a specific part. For me, it just affects my legs just in terms of the walking pattern, so the walking gait and how it looks. One of the main limitations that I have is doing something like a free weight barbell squat. So with that, I would use something like the Smith machine and then just have a bench behind me to catch me just in case I were to lose my balance. I saw a story a few weeks ago about wanting to include people in the fitness industry um, that have disabilities in this project and for me I just saw that as a no-brainer because it's this one thing I want to do is to spread um, awareness and then maybe if someone was to see my content um, that has not just cerebral palsy but any disability really um, if they were to see my content and then think to themselves oh you know if he can do it I could do it too and that's the kind of my whole I guess my whole mission statement really not just with this but as a personal trainer is I want to use my disability in a positive way to motivate encourage people that if I can do it you know so can you as well and to also encourage them to think you know anything's possible if you put your mind to it you shouldn't let your limitations um, dictate your life you don't know until you give something a go at the end of the day hopefully see you guys soon I'm really looking forward to helping create some good stuff so ta-ta for now Hi there, I'm Joseph, I am 20 years old, I'm a student at the University of Hull and I'm a disabled strength athlete. I'm on the autistic spectrum and I train for absolute strength. So typically my training revolves around a lot of power lifting, I'll throw in some strongman style event training and I'll even throw in clean and jerks, overhead pressing, snatches. Because my ultimate goal is I want to be as strong as I possibly can be. So this is the Innova Farm MV Pre 2.0 candy apple flavour. I've mixed it. it. Smells good. It mixes well. Really smooth. Sour taste, but I like that. Sour and sweet. Mm. I could just drink this as an everyday drink, to be honest. Yeah, that's really good. It mixed pretty well, apart from the fact that there's just like a few bits of the pre-workout still lingering around. Um, but you're never going to get 100%. So, can you live with that? Probably yes. <laughs> I probably could live with that. <laughs> so we're just going to go and do a quick taste test, see how it mixes. Oh, that's nice. That's actually really nice. It's really sweet. Mixes really well. It doesn't taste chalky. I'm really impressed with how that's mixed. Yeah, it's got a nice texture. It's not too bitty. It mixes quite well. Nice and easy to drink. Um, really nice taste. It's quite sweet though. Um, so I don't know if it's something I'd have regularly all the time or if it's something I'd have occasionally. Um, but so far it's really nice. Now that you guys know, I'll get on in the gym. The consistency was quite sticky and it was quite lumpy, so I was quite worried as to whether it was going to mix really well. I mixed it, it was phenomenal. It just literally dissolved straight away. I had no problems with it at all. I wasn't sure about the taste to start with. It, it was very um, apple-y. I know it was called apple candy, but it tasted like eating apple sours. But then... After you got the initial apple taste, then you had a really lovely candy taste in your mouth and it went down beautifully. Had no problems in that respect at all. So I have it already prepared in a glass here. I've mixed up. I'd say in terms of mixability, it took about three, four turns of a spoon. So this was just literally mixed in a glass that wasn't shaken in a shaker cup. Just mixed all together quite nicely. I'd probably give that an 8.5 out of 10 in terms of mixability. Very, very solid. 
Mm. No, it's very good, very, very sharp, which I do like in a pre. Kind of reminds me of those sweets that you get from Woolworths, the green ones, and they'd have like sugar sprinkled on them. Mm, very, very good. Texture, um, again, another very good one. It's very, very smooth when it's mixed, which I was actually quite surprised about when I first got this, only because um, due to the glitter pump, sometimes the powder can have that uh, slight wet look. Taste, I'd say 8.5 out of 10 to recap. Mixability, 8 out of 10, and texture, 8 out of 10 as well. Very, very good. Talking about overall taste of the product, I'd have to say it's a huge positive. Some of the pre-workout supplements I've used before, Taste has always been the lacking fact, but with MV, MV Pre, pardon my language here, 2.0, it was fucking fantastic. Just got back from the gym, uh, did a press session, really good energy, um, felt strong. I think that was down to the pre-workout. You know, I don't normally take them, so I can't really have a base for like how I feel on different pre-workouts, but... You know, I didn't feel bad, I felt focused, and I felt strong, and the energy upkeep was the main sort of positive for me. Um, the taste of it's great as well, so I'd probably use it again. Um, it was it was just a really positive experience. Hey, so I'm back from the gym, I had a good session. Definitely felt a gentle oomph especially with my training. However, it wasn't as explosive and didn't give me the focus that I'm used to for my everyday pre-workout. For me, I perhaps wouldn't use this every day or in my style of training that I did this evening. However, if I was looking to do a gentle session and or I was a beginner to working out, I think this would be a great start um, as a pre-workout to give you that gentle oomph to get you going um, but if you're a bit of a stim junkie or you have a st high stim tolerance I really wouldn't recommend this however having said all of that for the price for the good taste and for that gentle kick really I don't think you can go wrong just on a pull session really good energy really really good energy Got some tingles from it, but it wasn't anything extreme. Um, I think that's just my tolerance to beta alanine. Absolutely amazing focus, great focus. I felt really driven. I felt like I could power through exercises that I'd normally start to struggle with. You know, I would definitely use MV Pre again, and yes, I would definitely buy MV Pre 2.0. I just finished training legs and obviously I used the pre-workout for legs today. Initially felt good. Did get that tingly feeling you do get at pre-workouts. Definitely need the toilet not long after before I trained. Um, did feel it start to wear off midway through. Um, so jumped on the BCAAs then just to keep me going through the session. But I don't know if that's because of how long I trained for or not. So what was it like as a workout? Well, usually I'm very sensitive to beta alanine. So you get that burning in your ears, the tingling in your face. I didn't get that at all. So I did wonder whether it was actually going to be any good. This stuff is phenomenal. I don't know whether it was a bit psychosomatic, but I went to train with my trainer and I was literally on point. I was the strongest I've been for a long time. Um, I actually filmed everything that I did. It's all on my Instagram. I didn't feel anything from it. That was the weirdest thing about it. I didn't feel weird. I didn't feel itchy. I didn't feel like I had that burning sensation. I felt like I'd had nothing at all, but yet it gave me amazing strength. So I think I would use this again because it's probably one of the best pre-workouts that I've had for a long time. And I'm not just saying that because I've had a lot of pre-workouts that are dreadful and make you feel like you're having a heart attack all the time. But this stuff was very good and it tasted nice. It wasn't very acidic because some of them are very acidic. But yeah, I would definitely, definitely recommend this candy apple flavor pre-workout. Thank you. Bye. Hi there. Hi there, everyone. Joe Shepherd here talking about the new MV Pre, MV Pre 2.0. Um, I'm going to have to say, I'm actually going to have to give this a 5 out of 5 stars. It's possibly the greatest pre-workout I've used in an incredibly long time. And for its retail cost, it's worth every single penny. So, 
One thing that I think is really worth noting about this pre-workout is its nootropic element. And for people who aren't kind of up on the new hip chemistry and all that jazz, nootropics are basically brain enhancers that increase focus, creativity, and kind of really help you give you that mental edge. And I really think the combination of such a, a good caffeinated pre-workout and the nootropics leads to really productive training sessions because you're laser focused on your task at hand. You're remembering everything like your sets, your reps, you're remembering your cues for things like squat, bench and deadlift and like your cues for strongman training. It's really, really worth it. So I use this during a competition and in the training leading up to it and I found that it really led to really productive sessions. I felt just energized, the constant wave of energy carried me through the training. And I would really, really recommend this to anyone, whether you are a power lifter, a strongman, a bodybuilder, MV Pre 2.0, gotta, gotta recommend it. It's really, really worth it. <sighs> right, that's it from me. Sorry for looking down, I'm just checking notes and everything, you know, trying to keep everything fresh. Right, peace out. Right, thank you very much, guys. Um, as I said at the start, you're not gonna get very much from me. My thoughts on this all together, I really enjoy this. I think the pump element of this is awesome. I think the stim element is awesome. This is a great overall product. It's one of my favorites. So that's all I've got to say on that. But what's in it? For the formula breakdown, we turn to Richard Foster, owner of Strom Sports Nutrition, to break down what's in MV Pre 2.0. Good morning, good evening, or good afternoon, depending on when you're watching this. My name is Rick from Strom, and today we're having a look at the formula for MV Pre 2.0. Uh, MV Pre version 1 was a very potent pre workout. MV Pre 2, I haven't had the privilege of trying it, but uh, appears to very much come under the same spectrum. Um, it's a product that there is very little scope for criticizing. Nice in a vitamin B12 start out pretty standard it is a product that gives you a half scoop full scoop 47 to 27 thing it's a 27 product 17.8 gram serving size first ingredient 8 grams six million mile 8 2 to 1 good with that um 3.2 grams betraline standard clinical uh glycopump pump 2 grams glycerol uh 65 percent standardized glycerol so that's a patented form of glycerol powder i like that it's it's at a decent level but it's not so high um, that it could cause you issues. Now, by cause you issues, I mean if you are not well hydrated and you take kind of four or five grams of, of a glycerol, particularly a patented potent one, uh, it can give you a bit of a headache. S7, uh, it says on this label 50 grams. I've just noticed that. It must be a misprint, so uh, I assume that's 50 milligrams. S7 is an ingredient I've not been very impressed with, but it is very on fleek at the moment, I believe that's the correct term. So, in terms of um, ergogenic ingredients, efficacious, well-dosed, right across the board, apart from the S7 that I don't really care for, but that's me personally. Your kind of focus is stim blend, 1,000 milligrams of choline by tartrate. Um, choline's been discussed over and over and over again. I still really, really rate choline by tartrate, although it's the least bioavailable form of choline, it's very good value for money. You can have a lot more of it as a result of that, and it works well. 500 milligrams of NACL tyrosine, good dose, not really, really high, but a solid dose. 350 milligrams of caffeine and hydrus, um, a good dose, but again, not to the stupid levels. Uh, Biophytin, 150 milligrams, uh, kind of in there with your novel stimming ingredients. Not something I've had a chance to use very much in the UK. Um, Araya Jaranesis, um, I'm never entirely sure how to pronounce that, but N phenylethyl dimethylalamine. Um, good, hard hitting stimulant, pretty long acting. You'll often see it in fat burners which is why it's not my first choice for a pre-workout. Um, if you're training in the evening, you might find it impacts sleep, but not everyone will have that. So it's just something to be aware of. And then 150 MCD of Hoopazine. There's nothing in there that is kind of a red flag in terms of uh, like could cause problems for anyone. It should be reasonably strong without blowing people's faces off. And everything that is in there is at a reasonable dose, other than the discrepancy on the S7. Uh, dosing. In fact, it must be 50 milligrams because in the half scoop serving it says 25 milligrams. So, inside supplements do carry this product. Um, but yeah, very solid, very well thought out formula with um, patented ingredients used where it's beneficial. So, S7 and Glicker Pump are both patented ingredients that have something proprietary about them that makes them different. 
things like the choline, the tyrosine, the citrullimide, they're all just standard products, not to cause the consumer an unnecessary cost for little to no benefit. So yeah, really, really good, really solid product with very little that I can critique. Right, thank you very much, Richard. Um, I hope you guys had as much fun watching that as I had making it. Thank you to all of our testers for being so open. Now, I don't normally ask people to plug our videos, but if you could share this video on Facebook, on Instagram, on YouTube, on, on whatever, um, I really want this video to get seen by as many people as possible because the whole point is to inspire people to come and be part of the fitness community. Thanks very much, and I'll see you in the next video.